a little story update. Here's what happens yesterday, all right? I gotta get animated with this. Here's what happens yesterday. We got a fella over by the Super Nintendo wall, acting fucking wild. Uh, turns out, update, I've interacted with this fella before, and you guys have heard about this fella before. So the guy, all right, <clears throat> all right. So a guy was caught stealing from us yesterday. I'll come back to that. It's the same guy who long, long ago, I caught stealing over at the Nintendo 64 wall. Him and I believe his girlfriend were here trading in some items, which now I kind of want to assume were stolen just because he's now been caught stealing uh, four or five times, but I will get back to that in a minute. So what happened was, uh, Kelsey's helping with a trade-in right here, right? She's helping with the, the girl who we assume is his girlfriend, and he's over at the SNES wall, and he's he is messed up on drugs really bad. So bad that this is him at the wall. He's like, like, like shit you not. Like he's just like swaying back and forth and drooling. So uh, thank you so much for the raid. Hero of time 666. Welcome in everybody. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of a story. I appreciate it. Hero of time. Welcome everybody. Um, so the guy, he's swaying up and down on the wall and he just grabs Ocarina of Time and just just rips it straight off and he's so messed up on drugs he doesn't realize I'm right next to him like I'm I'm literally standing like two feet away from him but in clear view I'm not like shading you know I'm not being shady like hanging around like you know watching him from afar I'm literally right next to him trying to hang up more 64 games as he's looking at them right and I'm just like whoa I just grabbed the ocarina out of his time I'm like Ooh. Uh, I grab Ocarina right out of his hand. I go, whoa, uh, just let me know if I can cut any of those down. And he's like, hey, man, I wasn't stealing that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I didn't say you were stealing it, but I'll have it up at the register for you whenever you're ready. Let me know if I can cut any down. He goes, that's really rude, man. I'm like, okay, whatever, you know. So I go back up to the register, and now I'm watching him because he's acting like a freak, right? So that would be heroin. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so, so uh, I go back up to the register, and now I'm watching him because he's acting so weird, right? Uh, and I'm just basically just staring straight at him, and he's just struggling to stay standing, right? Uh, he Kelsey's like, "All right, guys, I'm all finished up. I finished your trade. Come on over." And um, as she's kind of quoting people up, uh, she she gets them, you know, the value or whatever of his stuff. Uh, and he's like kind of mean mugging me the whole time, but also like on drugs. So he's like, you know, kind of messed up, but like you can tell he's pissed at me still. And I'm just like being very polite, whatever. Uh, I don't care. Uh, of course, he does not buy Ocarina of Time. He was not interested in purchasing it. Um, the game that he ripped off the wall and was trying to steal. And uh, so Kelsey's kind of ca uh, cashing them out, giving them cash for their for their games. And he goes, can I get a paper and a pen? Uh, and Kelsey's like, sure. And at this time, I'm done with this guy. I honestly don't have a lot of patience. Um, so I'm just like, this guy is useless. Him using uh, our paper, pen, and time uh, is pissing me off even more. But, you know, Kelsey's got a lot of patience. You know, she's dating me. So he goes up and he grabs the paper and pen and all up messed up on drugs. He's like this. And keep in mind, where you're standing right now is where I'm, I'm, I'm the drug dealer or weirdo guy, and you guys are me, okay, in this situation. He's like, writing on this piece of paper right here, he's like, and then he, he writes this note right in front of me and Kelsey and his girlfriend, and then passes it over to Kelsey. And it's just like, this guy's an asshole, like me, basically, right? <laughs> so he just like writes this stupid note like right in front of us, and we're all just looking at him like, you're a fucking dumbass, dude. And <laughs> so he hands Kelsey over this note, and, uh, and, and then they leave, right? And I'm just like, well, that was a memorable, uh, that was a memorable druggie, all right? But past that, I don't know. So I don't see him for a little while. 
And then he shows up apparently yesterday. Well, I was at home. I didn't work yesterday. But he shows up and he ripped off three games off the wall. Super Mario Kart, Super Mario World, and also Super Mario World. And he put them in his jacket pocket. And one of our employees, Tank, he comes over because, you know, he hears, like, the rustling and the fucking guy ripping shit off of the wall, which makes a lot of noise. Uh, he hears him, he comes over, and he's like, hey, can I help you with anything? You know, you're acting weird. You're very suspicious. Uh, fuck you. What's going on here? And uh, Tank notices that the guy's got the games in his jacket pocket, and he just grabs them, right? Pulls them right out, and he's like, right away, the guy reacts by going... Those weren't in my jacket pocket. As Tank pulls them out from his pocket. <laughs> like, can you believe that? Like, the guy is so, like, messed up and out of his mind that his reaction is, What just happened didn't happen. That'll that'll fool him. I got him. And he starts freaking out. Uh, he's like, check the cameras, man. Check the cameras. I wasn't stealing anything. You know? Clearly he's stealing things, so Tank's just telling him, get out, get out, get out, and he goes, I demand an apology, and he leaves. I hope he comes back asking for an apology, because I'm going to let loose on him, like, all of my, like, deep inner hatred of people messing with the store and stealing is all going to come out on this guy uh, if he comes back. So this guy apparently, th here's the update to it. This guy apparently, after leaving our store, demanding an apology and trying to steal from us, um... <laughs> well, thanks for at least paying a dollar back and wasting our time. Uh, we got a little bit of our money back, yay. Anyway, so the guy goes down the street over to a place called Al's, which is kind of like us, but they're more like, um... Excuse me, sorry. They do more of, like, everything entertainment. So they have, you know, DVDs and CDs and records and all that stuff. They aren't... They don't have as much video games as us. So like, that's our main thing. They just kind of do a little bit of everything, right? Um, so he goes on down to there and starts stealing from them. And they catch him as well. And that girl, uh, who actually owns the store, she came in today and shared a photo of the guy, which I, I don't want to share with you guys just because I don't know if that's going to get me in trouble or something like that, you know, but I have a photo of the guy, and that's how I recalled that that's the same guy I interacted with so long ago. Um, but now we at least we have a photo to share with uh, all the employees so they know to, you know, tell them to get the hell out of there and stuff like that. <laughs> um, anyway, so the guy goes over, apparently, to Alice to steal things as well. And he also went over to, I can't remember the name of, some clothing store here in the Ave I've never heard of before. But he went there trying to steal stuff too, and they also caught him. See, his fatal flaw of being a shoplifter was being so excessively on drugs the whole time. Uh, and each time he said sort of the same thing. He said, like when, when uh, our employee Tank approached him, he said, Oh, I just had a seizure. Can you get me some water? Uh, you know, and when he went over to Al's and she caught him, um, he said, oh, I just had a concussion. Can you get me some water? Uh, so yeah, like he's just, he's just, yeah, he's terrible.